Okay. Hey everybody, I'm Dan at Viper Scale Racing. Today we're going to be going over um, traction magnet installation and we're going to talk about high downforce and low downforce with the traction magnets. So we have our Viper V-Spec car that we're going to be using today for this demonstration. First thing we're going to do is remove the rear axle, set that aside. Then we're going to remove the magnet clip. So I pull one side free and then um, go ahead and pop the other side off. And now you can remove the traction magnets and um, they'll be stuck together. So these magnets, the face that attracts to the rail, we call that the face of the magnet. So right now these magnets are attracted to each other. They are face to face. So if you were going to install these the way that they come from um, the factory, that would be in high downforce. And the way to check that is to take the face of the magnet and you want to see if it attracts to the side of the car. So you can see here that the face is attracting to this side of the car. Therefore, this magnet, if you were going to run high downforce mode, would go in this side of the car. Same thing, this one is going to attract to this side and you would install it and that would be high downforce. So that's typically how these are always run, but in um, some cases you might want to run um, low downforce and uh, what it is is low downforce you're actually configuring the magnets to where the magnets are the strength of the traction magnets are actually helping the motor magnets and you actually can get more power out of the car but you have uh, or more rpm out of the car but you have less downforce um, from the traction magnets and so usually it's high downforce but on some tracks that are very high downforce like a max track or um, a buck tracks you know route these are routed tracks you might find a combination that works better in low downforce that allows you to run the car a little bit lower than you normally would and uh, you get a little bit more um, handling out of the car because of the lower center of gravity versus just relying on magnet strength. Um, another note too is that on the Viper car and also on the G3 car, the G3R, I'm sorry, there's a notch in the front of the traction magnet and you really want to make sure that that notch goes into the toward the front of the car. There's a little shelf inside of the chassis there that holds the magnet and it keeps the magnet from popping out. So it's, it's really important that that notch goes forward. If the magnets, you know, they, they'll fit with the notch in the back, but what it does is it bows the chassis right in the middle um, and you'll have to run bigger tires, the car won't handle right, now the magnets aren't um, parallel to the rail, the motor nor the tractions will be parallel to the rail and it just causes a lot of problems. Um, one thing I can show you real quick how the downforce is affected is right now it's in high downforce and I'll clip it to my track section here and you can see that it has lifted that rail up okay so um, and if we go ahead and we remove the magnets, we're going to swap sides now. So now if I push the face down, it's definitely not attracting to this side. So it, it's trying to flip the magnet over. Same thing's happening when it's installed. The magnet is, they're, they're trying to flip over, but they're restrained in the car. So, um, and then if we go down and we, tr we try to pick up you can see that, that we've lost downforce and that will affect the car on the track. And um, the other thing is, is it'll also make more power. It'll make the motor spin more RPMs. And it's, it's you know, it, you probably won't ever have to do it, set it up in low downforce, but if you do, at least you understand why or if you were in a rush and your car all of a sudden is not handling well after you've installed the traction magnets you definitely want to check make sure that you put it back in high downforce and also that your magnets are installed correctly 
And um, that's about it. This thing's ready to hit the track.